Hi, this is Colin from Magnetism Solutions. In this video, I will demonstrate how a label, text input and timer control in a Canvas app may be configured and used together to display and edit formatted numeric values in a way that is not possible if using a text input control by itself. A limitation of the text input control in a Canvas app when configured using its format property to allow only number rather than text values to be entered, is that only a preceding plus or minus, the digit 0 to 9, or a decimal separator may be entered. It is also possible to include additional formatting characters, specifically one of either a preceding dollar sign or a preceding or following percent sign, and any commas. However, these additional formatting characters can only be entered after the number has first been entered, and they will only be saved if the underlying field to which the value is to be saved is a text field. If the underlying field is a currency or number field, then these additional formatting characters will not be saved. Therefore, the next time the user views the record after it has been saved, the number will be displayed without any formatting. Let's look at an example. This is an edit opportunity screen in a sample Canvas app used to add and edit opportunities. The edit opportunity screen includes several fields that display and allow the editing of numeric values. These are the probability, estimated revenue and actual revenue fields. Here, a slider control is used to edit and a label control is used to display the probability. And here, text input controls are used to edit and label controls are used to display the estimated revenue and actual revenue. For the remainder of this demonstration, I will focus on the estimated revenue field and show why and then how a label, text input and timer control on the estimated revenue data card are configured and used to allow the editing and display of a formatted estimated revenue value. Here is the text input control for the estimated revenue. The format property for this text input control is set to number. Therefore, the control will only display and allow the entry of a preceding plus or minus the digit 0 to 9 and a decimal separator. If the user attempts to enter any other characters into the text input control, they are automatically rejected as shown here. If the user attempts to enter any permitted numeric characters into the text input control, they are accepted. However, they are not displayed with any formatting such as the inclusion of a dollar sign or commas. Unlike a label control, the text property of a text input control cannot be configured to display a formatted version of its value. Here is the label control for the estimated revenue. The text property of the label control is configured to display a formatted version of the value of the variable named var estimated revenue. The formatting is applied using the text function as shown here. In this example, the formatting includes a preceding dollar sign and commas. This variable is initialized by the on visible event of the edit opportunity screen and is updated by the on change event of the estimated revenue text input control. By default, the estimated revenue label control is visible and the estimated revenue text input control is hidden. This is controlled by the value of a context variable named var show estimated revenue text input. This variable is initialized by the on visible event of the edit opportunity screen. By default, its value is false. Here is the configuration of the visible property of the label control. This is configured so that when the value of var show estimated revenue text input is true, the label is hidden and vice versa. Here is the configuration of the visible property for the text input control. 
This is configured so that when the value of var show estimated revenue text input is true, the text input is visible and vice versa. When the user clicks on the estimated revenue label, the on select event of the label is triggered. The formula associated with this event then updates the value of the var show estimated revenue text input variable to true and it also sets the focus to the estimated revenue text input control. Because the value of this variable is now true, the estimated revenue text input control becomes visible and the estimated revenue label control becomes hidden. And because the focus has been changed to the text input control, the user can begin editing the estimated revenue. After the user has changed the value of the estimated revenue using the text input control and moves away from the text input control, the on change event of the text input control is triggered. The formula associated with this event then updates the value of the var show estimated revenue text input variable to false. Because the value of this variable is now false, the estimated revenue text input control becomes hidden and the estimated revenue label control becomes visible. However, it is possible that the user moves away from the text input control without making any change to the estimated revenue. In this scenario, the on change event of the text input control is not triggered. Therefore, the text input control will remain visible and the label control remain hidden because the on change event of the text input control did not get triggered. This issue is solved using a hidden timer control that is configured to set the value of the var show estimated revenue text input variable to false after a predefined duration. This timer control is configured as follows. The visible property of the timer is configured so that it is always hidden. However, for the purpose of this demonstration, it is now visible. The start property of the timer is configured so that the timer starts whenever the value of the var show estimated revenue text input variable is changed to true and stops whenever its value is changed to false. Therefore, the value of this variable, in addition to controlling the visibility of the text input and label controls, also controls the starting and stopping of the timer. The duration property of the timer is configured so that the timer stops after 10 seconds, i.e. 10,000 milliseconds. This is configured using a previously initialized context variable named var show text input timer duration. This variable is initialized by the on visible event of the edit opportunity screen. The text property of the timer is configured to display a formatted version of the time remaining rather than the time elapsed. This configuration is purely cosmetic. The on timer end event of the timer is configured to change the value of the var show estimated revenue text input variable to false when the timer stops. The result of this configuration is that whenever the value of the var show estimated revenue text input variable is changed to true, the estimated revenue text input control becomes visible, the label control becomes hidden and the timer is started. After the timer is started, when the timer duration is subsequently reached, the value of the var show estimated revenue text input variable is changed to false. The estimated revenue text input control becomes hidden and the label control becomes visible. Therefore, even if the user moves away from the estimated revenue text input control without changing the estimated revenue, after the predefined duration, the text input control will become hidden and the label control will become visible. One side effect of this approach 
is that sometimes the user may not have moved away from the estimated revenue text input control before the duration has been reached. However, they can simply return to the text input control by clicking the label again. In addition, the duration of the timer can be configured to be more or less than 10 seconds so that the user has either more or less time available to change the estimated revenue. The final part of the configuration is that the formula associated with the on select event of the text input control is configured to reset the timer to ensure that the next time it is started it will always start from an elapsed time of zero rather than from where it was when it was last stopped. In conclusion, the use of this approach for displaying and editing numeric values in a Canvas app using a text input, label and timer controls results in an improved user experience. That is, when viewing a record, the numeric values are displayed with formatting such as is common for currency, percentage and other types of numeric values.